Good morning, you two. We are out in Lake Palestine. I know you'll hear that all the time, but I'm out here. I hadn't fished this lake in now three weeks. Um, but met Jason Hawkins out here. How you doing? Say hi. Hi, everybody. So we're gonna give him a live scope lesson today. And uh, but yeah, I want to see where these fish are. But I went to when I was at the tournament the other day. I won. I think it jigs. I'll show this to you a little later where you can see it better. But from Slab Syndicate, uh, man, they are great hand tied jigs. And uh, I had people wanting to buy these from me, but look at this. There's some good Lake Palestine colors in there. I'll throw their uh, their link on here as well um, at some time. But anyway, we're gonna get out there and fish, and we're gonna let the sun come up just a little more. We got a strong wind. I didn't think it was gonna be this bad, but I think we're about 12 miles an hour and uh, it's windy right here in the cove. So uh, we may have to find a few different places to fish today. But anyway, y'all stay with us and we'll pull some slabs in and, and show them to you. I'm an So guys, I'm out here uh, this morning going fishing over Lake Palestine. Uh, I'm gonna get some fish today. It's been a while, and uh, we're trying to figure out where they are. But I wanted to show y'all. I've got a, yeah, I got a small issue. Um, I think I got a little few rods in here. You know, that's not even all of them. I've got more on the other side, but Lordy, need to get busy. Uh, with some fish and probably thin out a few rods. You know what I mean? Hey, this is a new place. Uh, I've never fished, but I've seen people fishing here all the time. I'm just looking for the river channel right now. Oh, okay. Side scanning, yeah. so just try to get yeah, out of this. There's a tree back here. I just went over right there. It had a few crappie on it, looks like. Oh, really? Yeah. Just right back here behind It didn't have like about maybe four or five on it. Huh. Okay. Well, we can, uh, the, the, the river channel is right back there. It, it kind of makes a like a horseshoe right here. And I'm, I'm right smack in the middle of it. Let's go back and check that out then. Okay. And yeah, a couple of little trees. Right just, I got a bunch of, there's a couple of twigs down here, some small trees, nothing big. That one tree was pretty good size. Okay. Yeah, I'll let you uh, show me where it is. All right. Just right behind you? Yeah, right behind me. Just straight in behind me right there. And that's about where the, well, no, the channel is over here and over here. Well, let's go look. All right. Bye. That's not what I want. There's a couple of them right there. Oh yeah. Dang catfish. Not the way I want to start. But I caught a fish.
Well, that thing acted just like a crop. He came right up to it slowly and, yeah. Uh, well, there's some good trees right below us too. Cable. Right. I love spot lock. Yeah. What's a good color right. here? My most control is right there if we need it. Uh you got a uh, uh, yeah, I use gray in all honesty. Let's hope that my boat's not coming back to hit us. I, I got uh, man bonehead Barbie Garland. I got this is just my so, quick bag. I got ever Okay, this is a great color here. Okay. That one, this one's good. And you got any Palestine specials? Yep. Okay. Right there. there. That's what I just caught that guy on. But okay. that one and this orange one are, are my two favorite favorite ones. Okay. So um, let's go to menu, sonar setup, and so you got noise reject high. I go down low on this one okay. personally. It gives me well, you know, it looks better. Yeah, it's better high. Let's just try a medium. I check this out every time. Nope, going okay. back to medium or to high. Okay, TVG uh, usually set to low out here. Cuts out a little bit of that. Okay. And then gotcha. let's see. I was wondering what that was. I kind of played with it a little bit. I could. So basically, you know, you can use that to zoom out with, or right. if you push it once, it's also your gain. So you can bump your gain up. See how it's getting a little brighter? Right. So I usually keep mine to where I can see it like that. You see, see those guys are, oh, that's okay. a catfish right there. Oop, almost just hit it. Sorry about that. Um, you can tell the catfish, they look like submarines. Um, so that's all we may have here. So that's how you keep your brightness right there, where, you, where they kind of stand off. Yeah, okay. yeah, I just pop it up. If you pop it up too much, then you get all this crap in there. I don't want that. So I'll get it just kind of with her bright like that. Then uh, pop it again, then you can move your, I'm trying to get your grid lines on. There we go, now you go back. You can, oops, you can change your, this down a little bit brighter, so I, a little lower, brighter, whichever way. So you see this round thing here? Yep. That's gonna be your TVG. So if you ever get to that point, so I, this is what I mess with every time. I'm gonna come in here, sonar setup, I'm gonna change my noise reject on my TVG. So if I take the TVG and set it high, see it's cutting that out. Right. If I take it to off, then it gets me all the way up here. That's that I don't need. Um, so unless I'm fishing right below me. So I usually keep it on low or medium. Uh, noise reject, if you turn it off, you're really gonna get that. So that's it, but this is what I do. I just change it every time. We went, no, we went high on that one, didn't we? Yeah. Um, and that's really the only two things I deal with that and the depth. So your depth, um, I would go just to where you got it. I hope I'm not beat your boat up. No, it's not. I try to I just try to keep it right there. If you do it on auto, it will keep it up here, which makes your picture smaller. So you want to maximize as much of that as you can. Um, so when you're so like I always, I still, I'll leave it at 20 feet out when I'm fishing. So that's what I'm fishing for right there. So we're, that's four feet below us. Um, see that, there's something swimming. But okay. I think those are catfish there. Okay, the four, would that be in front of us right there? Yeah, so this is your zero line. This is right here. Right there, okay. So this is directly in front. Anything back here is directly behind. Gotcha, okay. All right guys, so, uh, I get the question asked a lot of times why, let me get up here, why I fish with a, a leader. The reason is when you see a bunch of fish down there, a bunch of bait fish anyway, if I have two items coming up and down at the same time, I know exactly where I'm at. Uh, the other thing is I'm using this uh, 132 ounce jig, slab syndicate. This is gonna get me down faster. 
and then this will sink right below it so it just gives me a little extra speed on getting down there instead of having to wait for an hour for it to, to fall. There you go. You got a double. Oh yeah. All right, see what I mean? They don't bite over there, they come down here. Guess I'll keep this, this little one here. I need to get some fish in a boat, so, uh, or in the freezer. So I got Jason on some fish and he's telling me to come over and fish with him. I'm gonna let him catch him. He's sharing the wealth. Got him. Decent crappie. Come on. Yeah, I don't know if he's legal or not. I need some fillets in, a, in the fridge today, the freezer. Oh yeah, he's legal. There we go. Yeah, that sucker didn't even think about it. He just hit it right when it fell. Oh shoot, I have a fish, I didn't even know it. Oh yeah. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Dude, he just sucked it. Didn't even feel it. Man. I'm gonna wet measure him. Tad bit under 16. Bleeding all over my boat. One pound seven, one pound point seven five. Mm -mm. Let me see if I can get some live scoop footage for y'all real quick. Get a candy store. All right. I'm catching my paradise now. That orange and chartreuse. So guys, this right here is the pile I was on when I lost to Matt and Ken. It goes well sometimes, sometimes it doesn't. Didn't even know I had him. Yeah. 
I lost sight of my jig and started pulling up like, man, I'm hung again. Third time, same fish. I just let him swim with it this time. Well, he kept grabbing the tail and pulling the pulling the pulling the body down, and uh, so I just let him have it. All right, guys. So. Again, my battery died on me. So luckily, one of y'all suggested buying this thing last year. So, uh, show you how it works. All right, so basically, just go ahead and clip it on there. Clip it on to my positive. Which you can't see. Well, there we go. Give it a little turn on juice. And thing just pulls apart. This goes in here. This in there. I'll probably need to recharge. Just because I've, uh, well, actually, you can tell. See the blue? Well, it still shows fully charged right there. So uh, I'll probably go ahead and take it back and recharge it anyway. But, uh, yeah. I guess I need to go check my batteries now. So, guys, we had a good time fishing today. Uh, you've got, what'd you say, you got 12, you think? I got, I got 15 keepers. So we did pretty good on them. Uh, it's been, been a little hard fishing. Uh, they kind of shut off at the end. So once again, my battery died, as you'll see in a minute if you hadn't already seen. Had to jump start it, now we're fishing with my motor on. So I definitely have to go get that checked out. Uh, I know what you're gonna say, well turn this graph off. Yeah, if I put it in sleep mode, well then the networking doesn't work. And so half my points are over there, half are over here. So uh, anyway. All right, guys, so thanks so much for uh, stopping by and watching the show. Thanks for uh, being a part of the family. If you would, if you've not already done so, hit the like button, uh, subscribe, and you'll get any new videos I put out there. So appreciate it, guys. Y'all take care, and we'll see you next week.